of times this escalator has broken down this week. You think they would actually work and not just sit there looking at Damn, but... Uh... Tell me about it. Now with all the damage out there, I doubt we're gonna see any increase in funding anytime soon. Looks like the only thing escalating are those damn riots. This whole city is going to shit. You think they would actually work and not just sit there looking good? Damn fucking crazy. Ah! Oh, hello! It is very commendable when someone like you shows interest in our work. Jensen! Don't know how welcome someone like you will be in here. Watch your step. This is the end for your kind, all. This riot will force the UN to adopt regulations. really changing the world for the better. We're changing it back to what it used to be. Before these people started working their lives. The convention center has been quiet all night. I expect it to stay that way, understand? Jensen, don't know how welcome someone like you will be in here. Watch your step. I don't know how it happened. One second it was a peaceful demonstration near the Lim Clinic. The next, people are running towards Sarah Plaza grabbing anything they could. You don't have to get uppity just because I don't agree with you, miss. I'm not getting hot. It just frustrates me how some of you pro-humanists act so superior. Like you have all the answers to every ethical question ever posed. Well, who are you to think you can just turn yourself into robots? Abuse drugs? and then think you can function freely in our society. You and that asshole tagger? Just try to take away my freedom and see what happens. Cost to have disposal. Yeah, the backstage area is completely blocked off. Even the janitor can't get back there now. What about the air vents? You're kidding, right? Have you seen the size of those vents? Expect the contortionist or midget is gonna try to assassinate Tiger? Don't get smart. You got a problem, all? Don't do anything stupid. You shouldn't be here, sir. Slave to a bunch of super soldiers in five years.
Access granted. Seraph, Sandoval's in Detroit. Hold up in some apartment building on Grand River Road. I'm heading there now. All right. But Adam, you think Taggart's involved? There's no hard evidence yet to prove it. Too bad. But you know there could be. If you upload that data recording you got in Montreal onto his computer... You're asking me to frame him? We could lose everything, Adam, given the mood out there. We may have to get our hands dirty to fix it. Well, you got a problem with that? No problem at all. Good. Sarah Felt. Access granted.
was good. <laughs> what happened? What are you Show doing yourself. here? This is the spot. Keep looking. Who's Someone there? must be there. Try to hit me now.
Jensen. Don't know how welcome someone like you will be in here. Watch your step. Patch me through. Jensen? I almost didn't recognize you. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, what are the chances? Do you remember me? Uh, I was a rookie when you still rolled in SWAT. Nikki, of course I remember you. How you been? The brass got you on ride control too? Yeah, yeah, I am. Or I was until... <sighs> Damn it. Look, something big is going down and I'm kind of freaking out here. You remember that MCB or Jacob White? You busted him a couple of times. Yeah, I remember him. Assault and possession. He's still running rackets. No, no, I mean, yeah, shit, I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't matter, because he's moved on to bigger things. Nikki, slow down. Listen, hear me out. I just got word he has his hands on some real military-grade explosives. But Brick's got a fucking bomb, Adam. And you know how much he hates the PD. He's going to hit us while we have our pants down with the riots. You gotta help us out here. Nikki, I'm kinda busy. If he's got a bomb, just call it in and follow procedure. What do you think I've been doing? I've been on the horn all night, and my CO already sent a patrol over to Jacob's house. We've got a warrant, so they searched the place, but nothing came up, not even Jacob. Now they're saying my CI is probably full of shit and just fucking with me. <laughs> Bullshit! Jacob's using the riots as cover, and he's going to hit us, and hit us hard. Adam, I need you to trust me on this. You've gotta help me find Jacob. Nikki, look, I don't work for the city anymore, and I don't exactly have a lot of time right now. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Look, the cops have a Deadpool going. I don't like it, but you kill a cop killer and you get a bounty. I usually reserve this to pay off our CIs, but if Jacob really is going after us, then he's as good as dead as far as I'm concerned. You take him out, the bounty is yours. To be honest, though, I'd rather see him riding behind bars. If you can knock him out and give him to us alive, I'll try to sweeten the deal. What is it exactly that you need me to do? You mean you'll help me out? Really? I didn't say that. Assuming I did agree to help, what would you need me to do exactly? Oh. Well, based on Jacob's history and his new political agenda, I can almost guarantee he's going after cops. I've warned everyone working street detail and anyone else who'd listen to keep an eye out. But with half the force tied up with the protests and rioting, I can't get the manpower for a proper search. I need you to check a few spots my CI thinks Jacob could be at, and take care of the threat if you can. Even if you find nothing, great. It put my mind at ease at least. How did White even manage to get his hands on explosives? My source says he got the bomb materials from some government stash out in Highland Park. It's all I know so far. But it all fits! He was last seen ranting at a rally about shattering the foundation of the hypocrisy or some bullshit like that. You know, quoting Che Guevara and talking about violent revolution. Did he have the shirt too? What? Anyway, he practically named the date and time of this reckoning. And it's tonight. It has to be. I have to admit, Nikki. I'm having a hard time believing White could come up with something like this. He can barely tie his own shoelaces without tripping all over himself. That was then. This is now. After his last stint in Standish, he got bug-eyed crazy. Started talking about how the gang war and derelict row was all part of a government plot, and it's time he did something about it. I remember him saying that augmented kid we took down last year was a cover-up. Exactly! And he's been railing against Wayne Haas, the PD, and anyone else involved in that ever since. I'm telling you, Adam, he's been getting more and more violent. Now he's got explosives, and we've got a giant bullseye painted on our ass. So why is it nobody trusts your source? He used to run with White's old crew, but he's a three-strike perp facing a dime on some damn parole violation. He's trying to cop a deal, so nobody trusts him. Thing is, I know he's reliable. He hasn't bullshitted me yet, and I don't think he's doing it now. Fine. I'll help. Let's go over what we know. Just the facts. What we know? Just the facts? 
What we know is he's certified batshit crazy, hates cops, quotes Che Guevara, and got his hands on military-grade explosives. What more do you need to know? Oh, Christ, man. I've got nobody to help me, and, and I can't even breathe. How am I supposed to find this guy? The bomb could be right under us, right now! Nikki, you're a mess. Calm the fuck down and think. You're right. You're right. It's just, oh, this is big. I mean, I've never been on the heels of something like this before. People could die. We could die. Just focus, okay? We know that White hates cops, so his first target is probably going to be the precinct or somewhere nearby. Make sense? Yeah, okay. But it could be anywhere. He wouldn't risk going to the precinct. Too many people would recognize him. And that leaves the transit station, the sewers, and the alleys around the precinct. Look, I need to stay here and report any leads to my CO. Can you check those locations for Jacob? Or his bomb? No problem. Anything else you can give me? I... Uh, I don't know. You remember what White looks like, right? Tall, Caucasian, skinhead? He's not the quietest guy, so you'll probably hear him before you see him. Yeah, a real philosopher king. I remember. Yeah, so if you just keep your eyes and ears open, I'm sure you'll find him. Also, I heard he's had some major augmentation work done. I'd be extra careful around him. I think the white we used to know has been replaced with something much worse. Got it. I know it's a long shot, but I'm hoping we get back up to expand the search. In the meantime, we can check those areas, and who knows, maybe we'll catch a break. Oh, and Jensen, please don't turn him into a martyr. I'd prefer him breathing. What'll it be? Always a pleasure. What is it, sir? There's a riot raging and I'm in the middle of taking this lady's statement.
people. Access granted. Spot.
I understand the reality of living in a society. I really appreciate you helping us out, Adam, but we're running out of time. We gotta find White before he blows something up. We're in the clear. White's dead. You'll find him in the sewers under the precinct. Oh, what a relief. Wait, he's dead? Man, the less details I know, the better. Anyway, the Chief finally took me seriously and is sending some men to help out. So we'll take it from here. Great. Anything else? Yeah. Here, take this. Like we talked about, it's the Deadpool bounty. Can't say I'm not disappointed you didn't bring him in alive, but I know how it is. Ain't no one around these parts that'll miss him anyway. Damn lunatic. 
By the way, Nikki, White's bomb wasn't even explosive. It was a gas bomb. I managed to disable it, but you might want to get a disposal team down there to do a proper sweep and clean. Ah, uh, shit. I totally forgot about that. I'll get EOD on it right away. Last thing we need are more casualties. Man, I'm sure glad I bumped into you tonight. You're gonna have to let me buy you a pint down at Maggie's sometime. If I hang around you long enough, maybe some of that famous Jensen swagger will rub off on me. Yeah, we'll do that sometime. Take care of yourself, Nikki. Big protests are going on because of that augmented soldier story. Richard, looks like Sandoval's got a secret bunker. I'm gonna flush him out. Let's hope he's still there. Why do we always get assigned to the shittiest spots? Yeah, why would anyone come down here? I think they're afraid someone's gonna try to sneak a bomb into the doc's locker. I'd be more worried about what's in the doc's head than what's in his locker. good about this.
If Sandoval doesn't come out of there in a few minutes, I'm going in. No, you're not. He's on the edge. There's no telling what he'll do. More of a reason to go in there and talk to him. Hell no. I don't want to walk in on him. He might get scared and stop popping off shots. Just let him sort out this mess by himself. If Sandoval doesn't come out of there in a few minutes, I'm going in. No, you're not. He's on the end. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
And this is why I urge every member of my staff, every man and woman dedicated to the true mission of the Humanity Front, to do the same. I say yes. If you're watching this, I beg you, do not allow misplaced anger to destroy everything we have struggled to achieve. It's over. He knows I can't come back from that. Everybody knows, Sandoval. You can't hide from what you've done. What I've done, Mr. Jensen? I spent years patching people back together from augmentation botched jobs and systemic organ rejection brought on by implants. And now, because of Bill's betrayal, I'll never practice medicine again. You really want to help someone? Tell me where Sarah's scientists are. I wish I could, Mr. Jensen. But my involvement ended right after I failed to remove their GPLs. You failed? Turns out, my surgical skills weren't good enough to bypass David Seraph's insurance policy. So for all I know, those little implants are broadcasting right now. On a frequency so low, your network specialist wouldn't think to look for it. You changed the frequencies. You have your answers, Mr. Jensen. And I've lost all of mine. The courts may think I have much to atone for, but my court will be a higher one. How about I take that gun with me when I go? You got everything you came for. Please, just leave. Believe it or not, I'd rather you didn't kill yourself. That's because you have no idea what tortures I've endured. The guilt, the shame. I was told the scientists would be used to find a peaceful solution to the augmentation crisis. Instead, I was involved in kidnapping and murder. My life ended that night. It's time for me to go. Think about it. Are you really in such a hurry to face that higher court of yours? At least there are no lies before God. Did you see that abominable press conference? William Taggart all but accused me of terrorism. He claimed that all the violence committed in the name of our cause was the result of my influence. So stay alive long enough to tell him your side of the story. He already knows it isn't true. I trusted that man. For years I gave him loyal service and he betrayed me. He sacrificed my freedom and good name to save the reputation of his organization. It's no use fighting him. He'll just spin it again. At least if I die, he'll never be able to use me again. So that's your plan? Just lay down and die so you can't be used again? That's bullshit. You need to face what's coming. There's a very thin line between martyr and victim, Sandoval. And if you pull the trigger, you won't be remembered as either. You certainly like taking chances, Mr. Jensen. But your point has merit. Maybe I did give up too easily. I made it my life's work to try and help people. But Humanity Front was losing people to the so-called enhancement industry every day. Those scientists were my last chance to stop the insanity, and I failed. If anything, my actions helped the pro-augmentation camp. So you've had a couple of setbacks. Your reputation is shot and you're going to jail. Fine. Killing yourself is not the way to find redemption. At least behind bars you still have a chance to help people. You're smart, healthy, and educated. You know that. You're right. And some people have found a strength in prison they never knew they had. How did it come to this? People died in that kidnapping. And I helped plan it. 
I might as well have killed those people myself. I can no longer look my wife in the eyes, and she's the person I love and trust more than anyone in this world. There's simply no place for me among humanity anymore. We all have problems, Sandoval. We all have something to atone for. You, me, even Taggart. Your wife will understand that, as will the rest of your family. They'd rather see you live and atone for what you've done than watch you die in shame. Whatever lies ahead, they aren't gonna let you face it alone. I wish I had your certainty, Mr. Jensen, but you are correct. For the sake of my family, I must give this another try. Take the gun. I don't need it anymore. Pritchard, get this. The GPLs are still transmitting. Sandoval switched them to a lower frequency. But, but they could be broadcasting anywhere in the world. I don't have the type of equipment we'll need to find them. It's our only lead, Pritchard. You have to do something. I know. Listen, the riot's still blocking the street entrance. Head back to your apartment and Malik will fly you over. Maybe by the time you get here, I'll have figured out something. Thousands of angry rioters took to the streets in several cities this evening after viewing controversial satellite footage uncovered by Picus. Detroit, Toronto, Mumbai, and Rio de Janeiro all report violent clashes taking place outside the doors of such well-known biotechnology firms as Kusanagi, Isolan. You don't need to babysit me, Mr. Jensen. I have no intention of killing myself anymore. Nor will I resist arrest when the police arrive. I assume your people have already contacted them? If they haven't yet, they will be soon. Then go. Use the information I gave you to track down your scientists. With any luck, they will still be alive. The men who kidnapped them? The soldiers? I don't know who they were. Only last names. Barrett and Namir. I sense they were highly trained professionals. Working for who? I didn't ask. My brother, Ezekiel, put them in touch with me. Your brother? Not Taggart? Bill wouldn't be so stupid as to get his own hands dirty. I see that now. He's like Teflon. Nothing ever sticks. soldiers. I'd be careful if I were you. I've heard the protesters are totally out of control. God, they should call in the National Guard or something. Damn cops. Roaming the streets with their strong arm tactics. Have you seen what's happening at Sarah Plaza? A riot just in front of the building. I hope they brought in enough police to handle the rioters. We've got some serious police brutality going on here. Goddamn cops. They started this thing, you know. They brought in a fucking box guard. Walk 
away, Og. We Natchez are finally fighting back. Thousands of angry rioters took to the streets in several cities this evening after viewing controversial satellite. No problems, Mr. Jensen. We've got everything under control. We're talking augmentations, and how by not allowing us to have them, they are essentially stripping our ability to defend ourselves from the Nice detective work, Jensen. You ready to return to HQ? Yeah. Let's hope Pritchard's found that frequency. You said it. message for you, Jensen, from Pritchard. He says he's not in the office. Great. So what exactly am I supposed to do? I don't know. He said you should check in with the boss. Even if it was true that we were breeding a bunch of augmented soldiers and training them, what do they think stopping us from going home is a bunch of rocks? Sheriff? David's just stepped out for a moment, Mr. Jensen. But do come in. I've been hoping to meet you. Mr. Darrow. I'm surprised you even know who I am. David speaks very highly of you. He says that when it comes to detective work, you are like a dog with a bone. Have you found your scientists yet? What else did David tell you? Over the years? Plenty. But today I'm here as a friend and fellow scientist. Things are getting quite turbulent out there, wouldn't you agree? 
So many people drunk on revolution. The United Nations being urged to intervene. And all because of the technology I created. Things have come a long way since then. Haven't they? And now my old friend David wants me to lead us to the Promised Land. He's asked me to invite members of the UN to Panchea, to convince them we don't need industry regulation. Your geoengineering project in the Arctic Ocean. The installation couldn't have been built without the assistance of augmented workers. And when it's finished, my little hole in the ocean is going to stop global warming. A lovely photo op, wouldn't you say? If it works. You mean... If it doesn't kill us all. Adam? You're back. Uh, can I speak to you outside? Get to the helipad, son. You're going back to Hengcha Island. Frank tracked down one of the GPLs. Only one? Is it? Sevchenko's. But Adam, we had to call in a favor of the DOD to do it. Meaning the conspirators probably know I'm coming. You're Adam Jensen, right? The security chief here? Your men did a good job securing this building when the riot broke out. Boss said we're heading back to Hangsha. Pritchard tracks up Chenko's GPL signal. If he's alive, there's a chance the rest of them are too. That's a pretty big leap, Jensen. We've been making big leaps for a while now. Whatever you say. You ready to get going? No time like the present. Let's get going. Then hop in. Bad news, Spy Boy. Spy Boy? Hengsha Traffic Control just revoked our clearance. We're being rerouted to another part of the city. I don't like that. I suppose you can't just ignore them. <laughs> yeah, right. Chinese government. I've got to comply. Bravo Echo Echo 008, proceeding to designated coordinates. What the hell? We've got a sandlock on our tail. <laughs> All systems are down. Oh. Hang on, we're going in hard. Stop, Jensen. Malik, we've got company. I know, but the bird took some damage. We're gonna need to patch it up before I can go. I'll stay in cover. Over you. Negative. You need to get away from here and find Doctor Savchenko. I'll be fine. You'll be a sitting duck. Maybe, maybe not. But this is your best chance to slip by them unnoticed, and you know it. So get out of here, Jensen.
boy. But I think... Ah, ah, I think you're on your own now. Farida. Give him hell for me. Jensen, I've been monitoring calm activity around Hengsha. Bell Tower's looking for you. Hard. Bastards ambushed us, Pritchard. Malik didn't make it. Oh, God. I... I know you might want to get even. But if they see you, if they recognize you, it might be better to stay out of their way. <laughs> 